not used to like one of the reasons it was hard for me to come to Christ mm -hmm. is because you have to give up control yeah of outcomes you right. can only you can only accept that's a really good point and so my problem with is my problem is I can't accept I realize that you know it's an awareness mm -hmm. I can't accept myself oh that's interesting and that's what that she revealed to me through, yeah. through those through my studies and my reading the the scripture yeah is that I have I, I, I have I have a hard time accepting myself when you say accepting yourself though what do you mean accepting like? my flaws expecting my 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 wounds, my past, my oh, okay. there's a part of me that feels too damaged sometimes, oh, yeah. and I didn't realize that about myself right. until I realized Tenorous. that about myself. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's like, oh, I guess I do feel that way sometimes. Well, it's like my when you were telling me the other day, like for me to kind of like learn to let go mm -hmm. of things that were messed up, or, you know. Nothing happens yeah. that doesn't need to happen. But I do realize mm -hmm. that I have to let things. Like it's hard for me to let things mm -hmm. go. Like I've never it let, let well enough alone. Right. And I don't, I don't like but that. But the overarching point of this is not even that. It's the idea of everything that you're afraid of is um, built into the fear of not being able to control your life. Yeah. Because one thing mom did say was, it almost feels, I said, I said you know, it feels like, I feel like things get heavier after I came to Christ. Mm -hmm. She said, no, it's almost like it gets worse. Yeah, it does because, see, when you go to Christ, mm -hmm. you're now realizing that you're, mm -hmm. up, you're on, on a standard now. Yeah. And it's not that uh, I think I'm better standard. The standard is that um, I want to live for God. I want to do what I can, not to be my, not to be perfect, but to be able to live in the eyes of mm -hmm. God. And so when you do that, the, like the responsibility mm -hmm. of of that is kind of like it does get harder. And I think because it, you because yeah. you're no longer just living kind of worldly. You're not just living worldly. Well, you're living for Christ. You live for Christ. For Christ. For exactly. And so when you're when you're living for Christ, it is a whole different like the. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say, I also, I say burden, but I want to say like a responsibility, right. you know. So and also, the, is the, the even like like the abortion issue? Yeah. Like your body isn't your own. No. So this whole my body, my choice is a bunch of. This BS. is the reason why yeah. they can do it because they feel like it's their body. Yeah. When you realize that your body's your temple and it's for Christ, then you yes. realize no, your body's not your own actually. Right. You're supposed to take care of it. Right. While you're here. You're supposed exactly. to eat right, exercise. Yeah. Not only that, you're supposed to mentally feel good. Yeah. You're supposed to give your burdens to. Right. God. So I, I I honestly think like this whole situation like this went out of control with our conversation. But what I'm yeah. Saying, but, yeah, but, but like what I'm saying is, is that I I realize that a lot of things that happen mm -hmm. that God uses us are every day and we don't even know it. Yeah, like we give right. ourselves to Christ and we think, okay, well we give ourselves to Christ, so our life should be no, better. No, 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 no. Actually, responsibility. But now that. God's like, oh, okay, so you now, uh, you now. Baby, they pledge allegiance to me, so now I'm going to work on you. Wow! Yeah. So you're you're opening <laughs> yourself up to me, and then you're like, oh, oh, but nothing's happening. My life's still the same. Yeah. And then it always takes me back to. Um, the the movie Karate Kid yeah with Mr Miyagi mm -hmm. and the very first one where um where he meets Daniel son yeah and um he meets Mr Miyagi and then he wants to learn because he sees he sees Mr Miyagi doing karate he's like whoa this is cool he's in a new town and right. he finds something that's finally interesting yeah this uh, Asian guy that can do karate and then he goes oh, I want to learn how to do it Mr Miyagi's like cool you can come to my house later mm -hmm. my other house mm -hmm. and I'll show you how to do karate he gets over there and then Mr Miyagi makes him do all this manual work yeah. and he's telling him how to do it and the whole mm -hmm. time it's for a greater purpose right a whole time. He's like, what? then he finally blows up, and he's like, he's like, man, I came over here to learn karate, and all you do is make me clean, you know, wash your car, mm -hmm. and you know, paint fences. Menial. And yeah. then he's just like, wax on, wax off, and he's like, bam, bam. And he's mm -hmm. like, wash the windows. Yeah. And he's like, he's like showing. And them. the whole time he was teaching them how to do yeah. it. So I feel like God kind of does that. Yeah. Like in our normal day, mm -hmm. that we don't even think yeah. that we're actually. You know, he's actually training us to be better. Well, in I mean, our like menial with, day. Yeah. But even like with with Mr. Miyagi, like you saying that, like it, he was almost teaching him how to make how to make him so good that it's just secondhand. Right. Where it was just like I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you such a good fighter that this wax on and wax off is no big deal. Like it's right. literally just something you do. Mm -hmm. So when you go to actually do a competition, it's just something you do. It's something. And you I do. feel like when when you go to Christ. It is just something you do. Even the part you know? where he blindfolds him and makes him like yeah. fight. Uh, when he's at the end of that boat. Yes. Because you yeah. are like when right. you go to when you go to God, you are walking blindly. Yes. He's exactly. guiding your steps. So to me, I I, I never re I watched that movie several times. I watched it in years, mm -hmm. but for some reason, I feel like God put that in my head. Like, mm -hmm. why do I feel like my life is still sort of the same? Yeah. Or, and then right. I, all of a sudden, that for some reason, yeah, that image of that movie came mm -hmm. into um you know it came into my mind. I thought, mm -hmm. oh. 
consistency. It is like that. It is like it's a sort of consistency of telling the truth. Yeah. A consistency of being faced right. with things like when you go to work and someone makes you mad yeah. and then you have to think, yeah. am I going to react angry or am I mm. going to act, react right. in love? Right. And it also is nice, like, even, like, when we talk about God, like, you know, and, and reading the Bible and stuff, it is nice to be a student. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, I, I think that people, I think people always want to teach, mm -hmm. and people forget to be students, you know? And mm -hmm. I, I think that's what, what, when I read the Bible, like, I do feel like I do need to learn these mm -hmm. things, and it is for a greater purpose. And so, yeah, I just want it to be almost, sec I want it to be just secondhand. But I you know, do you think like I think we're all, we're we're continual till we leave this earth. We're continual students and teachers at the same time. I do too. No, I do like, too. Because I can't do the show unless I've been taught. I know, right? Exactly. Something like it hadn't have been for yeah. like a, a Walter Williams or a Chevy Still mm -hmm. or um, you know or Larry Thomas Elder Soul. or Thomas Soul yeah. or, or you know then and and to really focus mm -hmm. in on them, watch their um you know look up stuff, yeah. and wa watch their documentaries and yeah. watch just their interviews and things, making me realize I, how wrong I was. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And then I can do the show yeah. because I've been taught, you know, I've been taught, yeah. oh, wow, I actually was brainwashed. I it's actually almost, was wrong. It's almost like I feel a responsibility to share it with people. Yeah. Like, because if once you know about these people, mm -hmm. it seems wrong to, for you not to be part of the people who share who they are. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I mean, if, you can't say, why do we know Walt Williams and you don't show up? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. You know. Yeah, I agree.